Okay, tell me your story. <laughs> My name is Rafael. I am 14. I work in the trash. Se alguém abrir essa carteira, tem que morrer. É isso que eles querem. Não sei de onde essa chave. Wherever there is corruption and justice, there are dollars. Vou fazer. Procurar o dinheiro. Are you hurt from the morns? Probably dead by now. Eu quero que você bote tudo aqui lá abaixo. Por que você está fazendo isso? Because it's right. Ela vai fazer o plano. Vamos fazer uma revolução. Through all of that, why did they stick with it? Because it was right. is a very interesting Oscar bait trailer and I'm curious to see if any of the awards shows actually bite uh, because while it piques my interest and it's actually gotten a, quite a bit of attention on the internet when it debuted the other day uh, I don't really know if it has what it takes to go all the way because I think this actually is a poorly cut trailer and let me explain uh, the biggest thing I've heard about this movie from people tweeting me about it and just seeing the coverage online is that, is this the next Slumdog Millionaire? But Slumdog Millionaire took place in India, whereas this is Brazil. Uh, but I can see the confusion because Stephen Daldry, the director here, and then also uh, Richard Curtis, the writer, another, two more UK talents, just like Danny Boyle behind Slumdog Millionaire, have for some reason decided to copy Danny Boyle's style of filmmaking to some degree. Uh, and I think that's a mistake because it draws the unnecessary comparisons. And the reason I say unnecessary is because Slumdog Millionaire was a very big Oscar winner, obviously. Uh, so the Academy, I think, doesn't like to repeat itself. So I think that this film, while it looks very strong, it could run into the problem of the Academy going, you know what, been there, done that, we already had our Slumdog Millionaire year, uh, we're not going to revisit that, especially so soon. So trash could be out before it even has a chance to truly compete and show what it has going for it. Uh, and the trailer, by the way, also I think works hard to hide the, um, the locale. This is Brazil, uh, but although that Brazil has also been covered in another Oscar-friendly film, City of God, uh, and that was up for a lot of uh, Oscars, big Oscars. It didn't win any of them, but still, uh, again, the Academy has, you know, has, that's another strike against this film. They've also uh, already discovered this kind of problems in uh, Brazil's inner city problems uh, in that regard. So, but I think that th this nationality, you know, you watch the trailer and because it reminds you of Slumdog Millionaire, you're not, I wasn't quite sure where I was. Uh, some of the shots of the city, I was like, oh, that does look like Brazil to me, Rio de Janeiro, because I've seen it in other movies. Uh, it's been very well um, done in the Fast and Furious films, obviously, and then also the Rio animated, the animated films, I think, have done a nice job of showcasing uh, Brazil. Uh, but here, I wasn't quite sure, again, where I was. I kind of had an inkling, not just from those shots, but also because it was a mixed uh, ethnicity for uh, the, the three kids. Uh, and while India's, you know, pretty one ethnicity, uh, Indians, uh, when you go to Brazil, it's very interesting because they are actually a very diverse population, uh, ethnically speaking. So I'm ni it's nice to see that reflected here. 
here in this film. And I applaud the film for showcasing their, their three leads in the trailer, which happen to be unknown kids. But that's a tough sell to mainstream audiences. I think that not only do you have people watching this trailer now having no idea where the movie really takes place, uh, but you have, they have no idea wh who's vouching for it. Uh, they have the director of Billy Elliot, but that was a long time ago, and while that was an awards-friendly film, it wasn't really uh, a, me a mainstream audience-friendly film. So Martin Sheen, he could get people into the theater, and so could Rooney Mara, I think, to some degree. And they're really sidelined in this trailer. So I think that while it's nice to see them, you know, acknowledging what the film is about. Uh, and they could even package it as like a, a, a Rio de Janeiro stand, uh, stand by me. That would be really interesting. But instead, it's all over the place. It's not, it's kind of stand by me. It's kind of Slumdog Millionaire. It's kind of City of God. Uh, and so you're kind of like, well, if you're not sure what movie you have, uh, why would I pay to see it? If, if, you know, you're even kind of, you know, searching in the dark. So I'm curious to what you guys think. What do you think of this? I mean, I really want to like it. It seems like a strong contender to me. I like the subject matter. I like the three child actors. And I like the a shining a spotlight on this part of the world. But do you think it needs uh, to be more clear in the trailer? Do you think it is too derivative of Slumdog Millionaire? Do you think they should have showcased the bigger name talent? And also, were you aware right away that it was uh, Rio de Janeiro? Or like me, were you like, I'm not sure where I am. It's looking not like India, but I'm seeing all the Slumdog Millionaire signs, so I'm thinking India. Uh, and do you think that Stephen Daltrey and Richard Curtis maybe should have been a little more original in how they approached this story. All right, so that's my review of this trailer. Thank you so much for tuning in, and you can check out some more episodes right now.